The following tutorial is brought to you by WholeLoops.com. It's production time. I'm Reed Stefan, realist puppet in the game. Five shortcuts for arranging your tracks in Ableton. I'm talking about taking all the individual musical expressions and phrases and sequencing them into your finished song. The example that I have here is the demo track from my Ableton plugin mastering tutorial that I'll put a link to in the description. As you can see, there is a vocal section, a build up section, and to our drum. The first thing I want to show you guys is how to use these locators. Uh, these make your workflow go so much quicker because clicking on exactly what you want here is as easy as just following the locators. Now you can add a locator by going to the create menu, hitting add locator, and then giving it a name. And you now have very conveniently labeled song pieces. The next thing that we're going to want to do to turn this short song into a finished song is some duplicating. And there's two different ways to duplicate. Let's say, for example, we want to bring our vocal back in after the drop. We can highlight it, include the empty space that we want it to skip over, and then hit Command D, and it'll copy our clip over. And then when the drop ends, our vocal comes back in, but it still has this filter automation that we gave it in the intro. And we don't want that after the drop. So we're gonna delete this, turn on Ableton's automation lock, and then duplicate our vocal. And as long as automation is locked, no matter what you change or where you move it, it's not going to change any of the automation points on not just the line that's open, but on any of them. And that makes rearranging go so much quicker. Are you one of the many music producers who struggle with music theory? Wouldn't it be nice to have a library of blazing hot chord progressions freshly prepared for your beats? Here at Whole Loops, we've got the solution to your struggle. Introducing Pop-In Progressions, our very first MIDI collection of major and minor pop structured chord progressions ready to drop into your session. You'll never waste your time again struggling to construct confusing chords or begin a musical idea. Just grab a Pop-In Progression and drop it into your session. Pop-In Progressions is available now only at wholeloops.com. Let's say we like the way our drop sounds into this verse and we want it to happen again. We can highlight everything and duplicate it, or we could just highlight the time and hit Command Shift D, which is the keyboard shortcut for duplicate time, which will duplicate everything in the measures that you've highlighted. And on the opposite, if we want to delete time, we can hold Command Shift Delete and it will delete all the content and the time that was there and slide everything back in so that the two pieces flow perfectly into each other. But let's undo that because I would like to have this instrumental section to separate the vocal sections. The next thing that you may want to do to finish your arrangement is to add something new in between this piece we have highlighted and this piece. And that's as simple as clicking, creating, insert silence. Let's give ourselves eight measures to add some new music. Put it in, gives us a nice empty eight measure block in which we can fill with pieces or new musical ideas. The final thing that I recommend with arrangements is instead of duplicating your vocal or any sort of loop that you have like this, I always recommend making a perfect loop out of it by double clicking on it and turning on your loop. That way, when you expand, and if you were to make a change in something, say the warp timing, it would change on all of them, as opposed to having to do one and then duplicate them all. Well, there you have it. Those are my five arrangement shortcuts here in Ableton. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you to those who have turned on notifications for my uploads. It really helps the channel. I'll catch you next time with another tutorial. Peace out.